Today, we're doing a deep dive on Northwest DC. We're covering the history, what it's like to live in Northwest DC, and we'll look at its affordability, lifestyle, and the real estate. This approach will allow us to compare to surrounding areas in DMV. So if you're thinking about moving to DC, or you want to learn more about the city, this is the video for you, because we're covering everything you need to know about Northwest DC. Washington DC is broken up into four quadrants, Northeast, Northwest, Southeast, Southwest. And because DC is not a square, these quadrants are very uneven. So today we're starting DC with the largest one. It's bordered by Bethesda in Silver Spring in Maryland and across the Potomac from Arlington in Virginia. Northwest has a population of over 340,000 residents, and the total population of Washington, D.C. is 712,000, meaning that more than half of all D.C. residents live in Northwest D.C. It is located north of the National Mall and west of North Capitol Street. It is the largest of the four quadrants, containing more than 42% of the total area and half of its population. Northwest D.C. is in large part bisected by Rock Creek Park, along which is the Cincinnati National Zoo. Now, if you want to get out of the city to take a hike on the Billy Goat Trail, that'll be about 29 minutes. If you want to go to National Harbor to see a show, that'll be 32 minutes. And if you want to catch an international flight, you're about 50 minutes from Dallas International Airport and 48 minutes from BWI. And you also have Reagan National Airport in Arlington, which is about 20 minutes away. Now I share these heavily frequented area because at one point or another, if you live in Northwest DC, you're going to want to go see some nature. You're going to want to go see a show and you're going to want to catch a flight. But to give you a better sense of what an average commute looks like for residents of Northwest DC, you know that the average commute for DC residents is 27 minutes and and with Northwest DC having the central business district, it'd be safe to say that Northwest would be lower than the city's average on limit. And here's a handy map showing you everywhere you can get within 20 minutes from Northwest DC. Now that we know where Northwest DC even is, I want to welcome you to my channel. Julie Brandon Real Estate. My name is Julie Brandon. Always, if there's anything that I miss or you would just like some more information or to discuss anything real estate, please don't hesitate to reach out, call, text, email. My contact information is in the description below. So let's get back to Northwest DC because that's what you came here for. So these four quadrants, that's why all DC addresses include both a street name and a direction. Where from the Southwest, if you're trying to get around DC and you type it into GPS without the directions, you may end up very turned around as there could be three other identical addresses in the other quadrants. Washington DC was founded on July 16th, 1790. George Washington chose the location for the nation's capital, nestled between the two rivers, the Potomac and the Anacostia. Here's an original map from 1792 before George Washington and Lon Cobb's plan was ruined. And here is the city as George Washington and, and Lon Cobb envisioned it. A very defined grid system modeled off of cities L'Enfant had studied, such as Paris. This overhead view looks very much like it does to this day. Northwest DC includes the Central Business District and the Federal Triangle, which house many different government agencies, the Smithsonian National Zoo, the museums along the northern side of the National Mall, the White House, and many wonderful neighborhoods such as Foggy Bottom, Columbia Heights, Petworth, DuPont Circle, Adams Morgan, Georgetown, Bloomingdale, to name just a few. Along with being home to historic landmarks and attractions for activities and events, you've got the Smithsonian National Zoo, Kennedy Center, Natural History Museum, shopping and restaurants in City Center, DuPont Circle, Adam Morgan, and Georgetown. Top private employers in Northwest DC include Lockheed Martin, Deloitte, Booz Allen Hamilton, Marriott International, and the largest is Fannie Mae. It's also home to the Capital One Arena, where the Washington Wizards and Capitals and the Georgetown Hoyas play. National Cathedral, the single largest employer in DC, it's the Department of Defense. Rather than mentioning the top government employers, as I normally do in my videos, here I'll list the three that are supposed to be the best, which Zivia recommends you working for over all other government agencies. Number one, the Office of the Controller of the Currency. Number two, U.S. Department of State. And number three, the U.S. Department of Interior. To add some additional context to Northwest DC, I want to introduce an external resource in Niche.com, which interprets millions of public data points across the country. Here we put together the Niche report cards and rankings for several of Northwest DC's most popular subjects. Adam Morgan, Palorama, and Colby Heights. There's Chevy Chase and Friendship Heights, DuPont Circle and Downtown, Georgetown, 
Woodley Park, Cleveland Park, and Forest Hills. Mount Vernon Triangle, Chuckston Circle, Pleasant Pumpkins. Now for the recreation scene in Northwest DC. Now this is one thing that stands out and speaks for itself for sure. 99% of Washington DC residents live within a 10 minute walk of a park, which makes DC the number one city in the United States according to Park Score. Now if trails are more your speed, there are many great trails through DC, as well as many bike lanes through the city with many more planned and used to find. There are also many great colleges and universities in Northwest DC, including American University, George Washington University, Georgetown University, Howard University, and the University of the District of Columbia. There are 44 DC public schools, as well as many notable private schools. The quality of education in Washington DC public schools has been a subject of discussion and debate for many years. There have been major efforts to improve the DC public school system in recent years, with a focus on reforming curriculum and increasing teacher training, as well as investing in infrastructure. The overall performance of DC public schools has faced significant challenges. Socioeconomic disparities have played a role in this. Historically, the district has struggled with issues such as underfunding, achievement gaps, and high dropout rates. Now, since all the reforms have taken place, overall, Washington, D.C. now has a rating by niche. But if we zoom into Northwest D.C., we see many A and A- minus ratings. So for the real estate situation, which will affect you whether you rent or own, median home value right now in Northwest D.C. is $745,000, which is relative to the same as last year, $750K. Now that we know that the median home price in D.C. is $745,000, let's compare it to other neighboring areas. Northwest D.C., $745K. Northeast D.C., $632K. Southeast D.C., $496K. Southwest DC, 479K. Arlington, 785K. Bethesda, 1.2 million. And Silver Spring, 507,000. So let's see how much home you can actually get for that 745,000. definitely a wide range of options. By the time you see this video though, chances are those homes have already sold. But no worries if you want the most recent list of our preferred homes in Northwest DC, there's a link to that in the description below. Now let's talk about our next category, cost of So to figure that out, we've got zip code 2009, which works out as sort of the average price Northwest DC zip code. Overall, the cost of living in Northwest DC is about 152% more than the national average. Groceries are about 13% higher. Healthcare, we have a little discount there. 95% of the national average. Miscellaneous, probably entertainment's is quite a bit higher. Transportation is higher. But the bulk of the price difference is the housing as it's 2.2 times greater than the national average. So if you're thinking Northwest DC is the place for me, that's great, congratulations. I want to invite you to connect with me in the description below. And if you're still on the fence, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon because we'll be coming out with more videos a lot like this very soon.